All right, so had a successful day of uh, a little bit of hiking, sightseeing, and testing the AT Labs RM1 and my DJI drone uh, using a Rack Mini setup. My uh, objective was to do some uh, ingress protection testing, dropping it in the water, and then also set up a node over this this uh, ridge line here if you can see that that um, I have another node across the other ridge line of course I'll be putting a whole video up on the uh, mistastic relay or repeater from my DJI drone here in the future uh, but I'm very impressed with this we'll be uh, talking about it much more in detail here in a minute Welcome to Incom Solutions, Jake here. Field testing results in for the AT Labs RM1. As you saw there in the beginning, I've spent a little bit of time over the last few weekends out in the field trying to put this radio through its paces and it's definitely produced great results. We're gonna go over some of those and some specifications that I missed on the first video. So we'll start off with the weight. I got eight or one pound 15.8 ounces on my uncalibrated kitchen scale, but so nearly two pounds range. Saw very typical range for uh, Mestastic or Laura type radio using an external antenna, you know, a quality antenna, three to nine miles, and one contact 8.8 .8 miles away from my balcony all the way across the city to another user that I made contact with here in Albania. The battery life, I saw six plus days. They claim about five to 10. I could see 10. I never let the battery drop below 15% was I think the lowest I saw. And that was it sitting out on the balcony in nighttime lows around in the mid to low 30s uh, for about four of those days. So you know that, or if you don't know, lithium batteries definitely don't like colder temperatures. Typically they really start to deplete, you know, when you get below zero, but it still can affect their, the lower temperatures can affect their battery life. Charge time is uh, probably one of the biggest things you're gonna have to monitor on here. I saw about eight or six to eight hours of charge time. It does charge in the on position as a little counterintuitive, but I found out. So you put it in the on position and it charges this on off switch cuts everything off to include the USB-C port here on the top. One positive thing about that is, is you don't have to worry about any sort of battery discharge when it's in the off position. They do have these two POGO contact points here in the bottom that they're working on creating a drop in charge cradle for that. I don't know if that will affect the charge time increase or reduce the charge time. We'll see when that comes out. Dimensions, I'm going to cover that because I did order one um, radio pouch that I thought would work off of Amazon because if you've ordered off Amazon, sometimes you know that <laughs> dimensions that they list on there are not correct. But we're looking at three, approximately three and three eighths of an inch wide here at the bottom, or you know, to include the top, the rubber bumper part of this, two inches, approximately two inches deep, and seven and seven eighths tall or high. If you have a radio pouch that covers about three quarters of the radio, especially if it's got a strap that goes over the top to hold it, you should be fine keeping it from just shaking around constantly. If you're moving in and around, if you've got this attached to the outside of your body on some sort of belt or uh, kit or something, something of that nature. They do provide thread locker. I mentioned this in the beginning and the kind of uh, introduction to this radio. This is meant for putting on the antennas if you're operating in an environment where you might have a lot of vibration and stuff like that, whether it's on your body, you are got it sitting in a vehicle of some sort, ATV, UTV, some, some off-road vehicle where it's shaking around constantly, these could potentially back up and loosen, which could prevent the radio from working correctly and could, over time, could damage the radio. So thread locker is designed to be easily removable without any tools so you don't have to heat it up or use any wrenches or anything like that to remove it once it's been installed and they have tested whether or not 
um, it interferes with the battery or the antennas um, capabilities and it does not so so my water testing drop I dropped in about two feet of water for about five minutes I did have a video of this or well I thought I did I had multiple camera issues on my trip one with my DJI drone and one with my GoPro uh, I do have it fortunately I do have a still shot of that one thing you can check when you're dropping any item that is claimed to be waterproof there's there's always air inside of them right well if you drop it in and once it's sitting in the bottom of the water and you see bubbles constantly escaping not just a occasional bubble that's trapped somewhere in you know a little area but that's the air escaping from the inside of the item and then water is ingressing into the item so didn't see any of that continued to use it that day and i've used it multiple times since no issues so that's great because really for me a radio that can just withstand rain or you know splashes of water uh, is a big win in this environment there's not very few radios out there that in the mesh tastic laura radio world that offer that type of protection uh, i dropped it a couple times not from very high just waist high no issues these rubber bumpers i think help with a lot of that um i'm sure if you like through it or something like that you might be able to damage an antenna or something like that but uh, i don't know many radios that would withstand that type of abuse so there's that so final thoughts i will hold to some of my claims in the first video probably not a beginner level radio unless this is well, you already kind of know you've used other types of radios and this is what you need this radio is going to provide you kind of that tactical level uh, radio expectations that many people might have if you work SAR, you work volunteer organizations, CERT, ARIES, um, you work in some sort of role that this capability, I mean, you live on a big, you know, farm or ranch and you need to have a radio that you can put on your ATV and ride out and and not have to worry about, oh, it started raining, it started snowing, whatever, the radio is going to continue to operate and you're good to go. I think if you're looking for that type of radio, AT Labs has produced a high quality radio uh, that will meet those needs. If you have questions, there's I'm going to continue to do testing uh, over the next several months. I'm limited to some of the testing I can do. So if you're looking for cold weather testing, now, unfortunately, it's already in the 70s, daytime highs here, or at least several days we've had of that here in Albania. So I uh, won't be getting the cold weather stuff for any time soon. But any other testing, put it in the comments down below. If you like what we do here, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Check out our website, our other social media links. Of course, there'll be a link for this radio list down below where you can find it over at Constellation Response. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more emergency communication solutions videos.